Hi everybody, welcome to Psychompon. Uh, in this episode, I want to be talking about the Wizards. I'm going to be talking about how they went from the bubble until in this series now against the Sixers. This is James Psychompon speaking, and you're listening to Psychompon. Alright, so let's get into it. So, the new thing about the NBA uh, this year was the bubble, the playing bubble. The it's not seed seven, eight, nine, ten. They all play each other to see uh, fill up with seed seven and eight, which it's kind of weird because like seven can be far apart from the eight seed. And I heard from I think it was Jalen Rose on one of the shows. He said seeds ten and nine should play each other so they can play for the eight seed to play who gets in, right? Because why would you wanna? Why would you wanna? have a consequence or whatever, I don't know where I want to use, but like, why would you want to have the 7th seed play, you know what I'm saying, because like, the 7th seed can be far away from the 8th seed, like, all, like, you, you play to get into the playoffs, and like, the regular season, it, even though some people not feel like it's necessary, or long, or whatever, you still got to put in the work, you know, you play to in the ring, or other people have other reasons why they play, but you know, you don't just play slack off during the regular season. You got to play, get in the playoffs. You want to win a championship. All right, so let's talk about that bubble game. So the Wizards play the Pacers. It was NBA now, you know, it's like less and less defense. And it's just the rule changes. And people, you, they get to showcase their offensive skills. And we're just, we have like a lot of we got good good scores on my team. We scored 142 points against the Pacers 115. And so I live in Japan. I don't get to see every game live. And I don't get much time to see the games that are shown. So I do my best just like trying to watch highlights and try to catch the games. And I just look at the stats most of the time. And you know, y'all got any more insight than I do? Like man, of course y'all will because well, I don't know who's who's uh, actually watching the games and where y'all are watching the game. So, like, if I say something wrong, just correct me. So, the new addition to our team, you know, it's Russell Westbrook. He's, he's been amazing for the team. I think he changed. I don't want... He, he influenced many players on the team. Or he, you know, put a foundation on how you should work and expectations and just like, go at it. So, the leading scorer of that game was, you know, Bradley Beal, number two leading scorer in the league, I'd say, right? Bad Steph Curry. It's a good game. Uh, yeah. And I'm happy we got in, you know, we, to 8 seed. Let's get on to the next game, you know, in the playoffs right now. So, the playoffs right now, you know, against the Sixers, number one seed, we're the, we're the 8 seed. And I think in recent years, there was some beef between Russ and Joel Embiid. So it's cool. You know, they get, they get a face off against each other. I'm sure they'll, everybody wants to see that matchup. Or well, not matchup, but you know, everyone wants to see them go get head to head. And I'm telling y'all, man, like, it was a closed game that game, not knowing what's going on in the next two games. And it looked like we can, you know, make it kind of even. But I think this is the game that Russ hurt himself or is that the next game? Yeah, anyways, like, we don't have, much help. I don't know if we do. I think we had a good team. We're not a good team. But like we're at HC, but like it's just something not right. It's like we need more development from Rui or getting involved more because he, you know, we can do some things down low or getting a break. Yeah, that game was five for eight. Two for two from the three, 12 points. And let's see who else. I don't know. Like, we got to shore up our center. I think that's the biggest key going all season. Find like a, a center we can rock with. I think Gafford's been a huge, huge addition for us. I think we should keep Gafford. Len, I don't know, man. He just, just, just a bench player. Robin Lopez. You know, he has his times, has his games, but Bertans, 
Berton, he's a, that, that contract, the extension, it was a lot of money paying him. I think he just gotta show up more. And then, okay, on the Sixers side, man, Tobias, he scored 37 points, leading score. So you gotta find somebody to put on him. I think Ruby's the guy. Who else would you put on him? They both play power forward, so that's already, you know, a head to head matchup. But you gotta lock him down. And there it goes again, Joe MB, 30 points. 30 points, 6 rebounds, 13 free throw attempts at the line. So you got, you gotta find a big. Like, and Bede's like arguably the best center in the, in the league. And there's no stopping this team because you still got Ben Simmons. Like, we're rushing to keep up with him, but Ben Simmons' size, he's just, he's just the biggest point guard. And you can't, what can you do? You get, this team got length. You got snipers. They got Seth and Danny Green. All right, game two. Game two is also in Philly. This one just got away from us. I see Russ played 29 minutes. I think this is the game Russ got hurt. He still got 10 points, 11 assists. In 29 minutes, he went to the line 10 times. That's been good. Just keep going to the line. Keep attacking. Beal, 33 points. Ruby, 11 points. Last game, got 12. We just got to get him involved more. Like, everybody knows that Beal... To be the score, but there's, there's just something off. I think it's just the offense. We need to just get more people involved. I'm not all about just you know make more threes, make more threes. It's just you can run plays, you can dive and dish out. You can still hit the mid range game. You know you got to make it unpredictable for the other team. And the Sixers sides, Tobias, man, how they were 19 points, Mike were 13, and B in 26 minutes, he got 22 points. And Ben Simmons, 22 points, 11, 15 free throw from the field. This team, they're three, Simmons, and B and Harris. Each of them only missed four shots. Like, we gotta clamp down. We're just like a running gun team, you know? Alright, so game three. Game three, game three. Man, it was like no contest. 132 points by the Sixers, and we went to 103. Like at this moment, like, I think we, we cannot come, yeah, we can't come back, but like, all the Wizards fans, like, they're probably, the hearts and souls just probably left for any man. Like, this, this year is done, we're done in this playoffs, like, there's no, there's no chance. It'll be too much, too much grind effort that you won't have enough energy left if you want to win four straight. And beat here you go, thirty six points, fourteen of eighteen from the field goal, man. Three out of four three point shooting, eight rebounds, three steals, one block. This guy. Man, he's, he's killing us. Harris, 20 points. And Simmons, 14 points, but 7 out of 10 from the field. Efficient. And Danny Green only shot threes that game. 5 out of 9. 15 points. Seth Curry, 15 points. They both like 50% from the three. And... It's just about consistency. Consistency, effort, defense. That's how I think that's like a formula to win. You have to go far. Rui, 10 points. From what I've seen from the, from, let's see, the pass. From every game in the series, Rui only sh- shot eight attempts, the max. One game, he's only shot six attempts. And he's been at least, he's been a above 50%, a 50% or better in each game from the field. We got to get him more attempts. More, oh my gosh. 
and from three, from three, he missed. You know, he made every shot but one from three. You gotta get Rory involved more. Russ, 26 points. Beal, 25 points. Like, I know they're the stars of our team. But that's the thing. Like, once you come, become predictable, you, you, it's a series, okay? Best four out of seven. You can game plan. You have days in between. You can game plan on, focus on one, focus on one opponent and just lock down. Like, they put the clamps on us. Like, you gotta get, Ruby involved more. I think Berton started this game. Only eight points in 31 minutes. One out of five and three. Two out of six from the field. Zero rebounds. Like, come on, man. What are you defending out there? Zero rebounds. One steal. Okay, one. The plus minus is minus 34. Gafford, man. 16 points. Six. Six out of eight from the field. And Neto, 12 attempts when he made one field goal. Man, this is a wrap. Game four is tonight. Well, since I'm in Japan, I'm Tuesday right now. So game four will be um, stateside Monday night. Home. Where's it home? Let's see how it goes, man. All right, I'm out.